civil conflict, destabilization and deterioration of the economic situation in Burundi in April 2015 has led to refugee outflows to neighboring countries. By the end of October 2016, some 322,300 Burundians had fled the country, primarily to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Uganda and Tanzania. Nearly 100,000 Burundi refugees fled to these countries in 2016 alone, and the flight trend continues. Political instability has plunged Burundi into a multitude of challenges such as increasing insecurity, the decline of external financial support, and a dwindling economy, which are leading to a rapidly deteriorating humanitarian situation. <music> Tendeli refugee camp was opened in 2015 in an effort to alleviate the overcrowding in Nyarugusu and Duta refugee camps. On 27th February, the UN estimates there is a total population of 50,789 refugees in Tendeli refugee camp, all of them from Burundi. Refugees at the Tendeli camp and the neighboring local community are dependent on the camp's main dispensary for all their health care needs. As the refugee population continues to rise, the need of establishing health posts inside the camp to complement the main dispensary becomes eminent. As per UNHCR setup, every 10,000 refugees require services of a health post besides the main dispensary. This project is a result of joint endeavors between Malteser International and the Colping Tanzania Director, Father David Kamgisha. After the initial assessment of the refugee situation in Duta and Tendeli refugee camps, it was observed that there was an urgent need to improve the access to safe surgical obstetrical acute care, in particular for cesarean section, for Burundian refugees in the Mtendeli refugee camp, Tanzania, as well as in the host population. Burundians have a very highly productive potential. Per monthly, more than 300 deliveries, and among these deliveries, at least 40 patients will need cesarean session. Meanwhile, we used to refer to Kibondo District Hospital, a distance of 37 kilometers from here. Kibondo was very overcrowded with many patients, so the need for the theater at the camp, hospital camp was very, very uh, important. Project implementation included the following. Construction of the center, which covered site clearance, setting out done as per working drawing, digging of foundation trench as per working drawings, casting of concrete for strip footing, Erection of foundation walls done as per working drawings, roofing, plumbering, and other related activities. Constant supervision through site meetings by the implementing partners and government leadership have ensured that the project was run smoothly so as to reach the desired targets. Provision of solar power facility. For the guarantee of the constant power supply at the emergency bath center, in case of the power failure, the institution was provided with a solar system. For the safe execution of surgeries, medical equipment were procured. Mm -hmm. 
Provision of water harvesting facilities. Through the installation of gutter and water tank, an additional provision of the structure with service water was guaranteed. <laughs> launch was officiated by the Kigoma Regional Commissioner with representatives from Maltiza International and Colping Tanzania was represented by its protector Bishop Desderi Roma, the National Director for the David Kamgisha and other staff. The occasion was well attended by the program beneficiaries and other organizations responsible for providing services to the refugees. It is with great pleasure we want to thank the Germany Foreign Office, German Humanitarian Assistance for funding this project. It is life-saving project. And since we started to operate uh, two months ago, we have operated more than 184 patients. All of these were uh, caught in an emergency situation whereby surgical intervention was unavoidable. Now we can do our operations here. We are saving the life of many at our hospital. Now <laughs> Nabana <laughs> Ay bobo bo Nesimia Maria Mama Rova Maria Mama we Besides the joy shown by these refugee children deep down their hearts there is fear uncertainty despair and hopelessness As we observe the many uncertainties facing these refugees you just have to wonder how this conflict can be resolved. As we celebrate this milestone, there are still some key challenges facing Tendeli refugee camp. On behalf of the Corping Society of Tanzania, and on my own behalf, I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who have helped in making this life saving project as a success. In particular, I would like you to extend my sincere and a deep gratitude to the following. The German Humanitarian Assistance for the funding, 
Motors are international for facilitating the technical and the financial aspects. The Tanzanian government, the UNHCR, and the Tanzanian Red Cross Society for availing their supportive roles to the project. Currently, there are no signs that the refugee community will be leaving very soon for their home country. After the completion of the surgical theater, it has been observed that there are still urgent gaps to be filled, which included the following. Mutendei refugee camp is receiving an average of 300 new babies per month. This requires urgent measures towards mother-to-child health care by constructing a special unit of fascination and the growth monitoring center for children under five years. Therefore, we are also in the need of the growth monitoring and vaccination building for the under five. So it's very, very important building uh, to be here. Like what I said, Burundians have highly productive potential. Each month we have an average of 300 newborn. You can see all of this needs vaccination and the proper follow-up in growth monitoring. Improving the accommodation facilities for, their, for theater, doctors, and the nurses by constructing simple but permanent accommodation with basic facilities. Currently, they are living in a worn out tents. Among the changes we are facing is our living compound. We have this living compound where we have tents, uh, as you can see. Uh, yeah, these tents, uh, like, <laughs> it has a lot of challenges. Like, you get in, you, are, you have a hard uh, working day, like, from morning to evening, and then you go, like, get one to rest, and then you find the place is like this. In the afternoon, it's very hot, you cannot rest. You, you, you cannot get enough rest and for the night it's very, like, very cold. Therefore, we humbly appeal for support towards the alleviation of these challenges. The situation is pathetic indeed. People badly need our help. Let us remember that life is a circle. Giving is a, a crucial component of this circle. Without giving, life ceases to exist. Let us give what we have. It does not matter what we give as long as, as it is something others need. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, give others and God will give to you. Indeed, you will receive a full measure, generous helping poured into your hands, all that you can hold. The measure you use for others is the one that God will use for you. Thank you very much. Please, let us help.